Hello, in this tutorial, we will go through how to use ICP BPC for NetWeaver to do the balance carry forward. Actually, it's one of the exercise in the HP standard BPC training material. Uh, but here we mainly focus on how to implement in the real system. All right, so um, as I explained in my previous videos, um, the virtual machine is the same um, virtual machine, uh, BW7.13. Uh, as you can see here, it's already started. And uh, this page uh, shows the expected output result. Um, as you can see, you know, the um, amount under this account receivable of the prior, I mean, the 2013. Uh, the month 12 uh, is a uh, transfer to the next uh, period, you know, the 2014 and period one, right? And the same for the uh, uh, BS122, the cash, you see um, the amount of prior uh, period is transferred to the uh, next period, right? Then this example is from 2013. Uh, so December 2013 uh, to January 2014, all right? And here is another example for the current year retaining earning. It's also be, um, you know, um, revised with, you know, a multiple of minus one. You see this a minus 300. And also this 300 is transferred to this account, you know, prior year return earning under this uh, January 2014. Okay, so we we will you know go through the configuration and how to do this in the SPDC um, in the following you know um, actions. Uh, so now, because um, this is just an example, um, I need to first clean up all the data, and then I will start from scratch. Right. So meanwhile, in order to if I refresh. And uh, this model legal, you will see this is a uh, open uh, request. You know, this is actually the current request I use to import data, but we need to start from scratch. So I have to delete all of the data under this uh, BBC uh, model, all right? In order to do that, I create a very simple procession by myself. You can see this is a, a customized procession. You know, it's different than the uh, pre-delivered one. Uh, so I will call the procession in ICP BPC data manage. Uh, then this, you know, this procession is intended to delete the data of the uh, BPC cube legal. Okay. So in order to do that, I need to go to the data manager and I go to the uh, run package. Yeah, to choose this uh, package and the data management. Um, here you can see the clear BPC cube data um, and the pack, you know, right click, right click. So yeah, I go to the uh, optimize maybe. I go to this, I go to, so I go to the modify data package. You see, this is a process I just show you, you know, this data package. It's gonna call this uh, process in the delay state, right? So let's just do it. Okay, if we click the view data, you see this data package is stated, right? I will go back to this report and I just click the refresh. So all data should be gone. See, the data is gone. Okay. Now let's jump how to configure this balance carry forward in SCP BBC. Now the first step, you need to log on to the SCP BBC the web page, and you're gonna create some uh, business roles, you know, to do the configuration uh, for the balance carry forward. Uh, you go to the rules, and you go to the business rules, and you just choose the model you're gonna choose do the balance carry forward. Now, for example, it's legal, right? And if you 
shoot legal and you go to add remove root tab and then in the pop-up window in the pop-up window you select carry forward okay and then you should see this carry forward okay you click it you see here we mainly have three uh, basic rules the first one is that you know is a uh, for the account and this bs000 uh, will be transferred uh, to the uh, audit adjustment underscore bcf okay and you know the source flow is f underscore cb means it's a closing balance will be transferred to the next period opening balance f underscore ob means opening balance and the same for the second rule but it's for the specific uh, account is two five seven one two thousand um and it will be transferred the same but with reverse sign okay and the third rule is for this account will be transferred to the account two thousand one four thousand and to the account score opening balance okay it's pretty simple after we have to uh, complete this business rule we have to create a logic script because when we uh, run the balance carry forward the system we call this logic script and you know it's pretty straightforward uh, you choose the uh, script for legal you have create a uh, script with the name copy and scope open okay if you just click this one we will see the sample uh you know the, the code you know it's just around this package and with three or four sorry four parameters the categories the report currency time and entity all right uh, you can validate it before you save it so there's no error okay so now we go back to this um, uh, excel so here we can just input some uh, text and data for example we just input 100 for this account receivable and uh, the uh, year um, sorry and the December 2013 and this uh, flow is a uh, closing balance and I will do the same for the cash 200 then for the uh, current year returning earnings I put 300 okay you can see this 100 for account receivable for the uh, closing period of December 2013, and 200 for the cash, and the two, uh, December 2013. Same. Okay. Then just click save data. Okay. Uh, we have three records successfully uh, saved in the BPC. Uh, now we have to run the uh, package balance carry forward, you know, to transfer the uh, closing peer, uh, closing balance to the uh, next period as opening balance, right? In order to do that, we navigate to data manager and we go to the run package. We choose the balance carry forward. We click run. Here I just input some, you know, our data. This is for our example purpose. I choose actual and entity is CA and reporting current is CD and time is January 2014. Okay, I click save data. See this uh, package just succeeded. I double click you can see this package in log uh, you know and also the formula the four step to make it for success okay now let's go back to our report to have a quick look so we can just simply refresh so here we go you see this 100 is transferred to the um, January 2014 under the uh, F and score opening balance. Okay, the same for the uh, cash and for the current year routine earnings. We get we got the uh, minus 300 as expected, and we also get the uh, 300 and the opening balance, right? 
So everything is uh, working uh, perfect as expected. So that's all for, for our demos. And as you can see, the most important part is that um, you know you have the you know the virtual machine in the system, so that you can do all the hands-on or practice from the SP standard DPC training. And yeah, if you have you know any question regarding the virtual machine, or just let me know. Right? That's all. Thanks for watching.